Rated E for everyone. Available September 13th.
I should formally welcome you aboard the Hundenberg. <laughs> Finest ship in the skies, you know. We're approaching London at a rate of 30 knots, and I will inform you of our arrival. Brace yourself, steam hammer. The scanners show the professor's clockwork rats have started closing in on your location. The American people need real leadership, someone who will defend everyday American interests. I want to build better communities for Americans with affordable housing and quality services. We need to invest in housing in order to lower rent and other costs. I propose payment assistance and increased housing counseling programs to give everyone an equal opportunity for house ownership. This program will improve our citizens' lives and create jobs and economic growth. The Common Core Standards are the first step in establishing a stronger and more cohesive educational system in this country. Defending American families every step of the way. I approve this message. How many jobs have Democrats created? 
Just ask the unemployed. Finally, a candidate that evangelicals can trust and who puts their needs first. It's time for the American people to take back control of our borders and deport the dangerous people that illegally cross them every day. Hello, I just wanted to tell you that the statements you've made during your campaign really made an impact on me. Hello, our Russian-based office with ties to international crooks has the means to mount a large-scale financial fraud operation linked to your Democratic opponent. Many people express concern about terrorism, not only on U.S. soil, but around the world. And what is the best way for the U.S. to fight sophisticated terrorist groups? What is your message to them? After such tragic attacks on our country, it is time to get to work. We need a strong plan to fight the radicalization of American-born terrorists. My fellow Americans, it is with great emotion that I stand before you today. They said we would never win, and look where we stand today. It is thanks to your faithfulness, your generosity, and your commitment to our cause that we celebrate tonight. The American people have chosen me because of the great vision that I have for our country. And for us, greatness is possible. Thank you once again. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Members of Congress, I have the high honor and the distinct privilege to present you the President of the United States.